<laughs> All right, we'll make this an official drama video. So maybe I'll move over a little bit. Make room for the word drama. Uh, yeah, Andy Clark, you made a video. I don't know whether it was after mine or right before mine, but it doesn't really matter. Um, obviously, he's decided to get more aggressive in his, um, you know, please stick your dick up my ass kind of bullshit. Um, he's really asking for it, the fucker. Um, but, you know, the cheap shot. So, yeah, I'm not going to go there yet. You know, we'll wait till the lawsuit is over and then we can sit there and start, you know, taking his image and I could, you know, put it in the cover art for the Nambla magazine. Because he really does have the look for it. I mean, his whole life looks like a bearded um, cover, uh, like, let's, the, the pretense of a life. And this fucker sitting there pointing fingers and um, making insinuations. Um, what an asshole. I mean, no one's even, no one's even taken, uh, even brushed up against him roughly. And this fucker's talking like, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, that didn't mend him. Yeah, he just sues everybody for everything. No, I think I've only sued people for painting swastikas on my motherfucking image. My image. Not an image they created. My image, you dumb fuck. Um, but anyway, we won't go there right now. Um, because we'd all play that game. Like I said, how hard is it to take somebody and blow their philosophy up just by sticking bananas in their fucking mouth? I mean, it's really not fucking hard to do. We see that complete fucktards can do it. They can take a dirty pair of underwear and shove them in your face. They can make that image out of you. They can take you and turn you into shit. All right, and those, those, those images don't go away in people's heads. They get stuck in there. So like I said, I can verbally describe some images you know, of you sucking a five-year-old's dick, and people could certainly see you in that, in that role. It wouldn't be hard to imagine, um, but would it be a fair philosophical argument? Would it mean anything? Um, would it make me anything but an asshole for saying it? No, it wouldn't, you dumb ass. Um, so fuck you and your god, your, your, your dickless friends who, who think they have something. Yeah, well, you're all dickless. But look at you, you look at you, N.D. Clark. I mean, you, you got the, now you got the, the pretense of the beard, and you got your little, your little, you know, restrained and restricted little haircut, and your little restrained and restricted life. I mean, your wife's probably a beard. Yeah, let's pick on your wife, too, because you deserve it. You deserve to have your personal life picked to pieces because you seem to have no appreciation for anybody else's life. Here you are on antidepressives because you have an anxiety, a social disorder, and you're pointing motherfucking fingers? I mean, you, the, your hypocrisy couldn't get more disgusting, your, your, your glass house hypocrisy. I mean, you're just such a fucking weasel. Um, yeah, you can't win the battle. You can't win the argument intellectually, so you've got to play this little fucking game. Um, this, the, you're just such a weasel. You're like some little kid on the playground, you know, whose mother's like the mayor or something. And uh, so he knows he can't get beat up. And so he'll, you know, he'll just, uh, you know, talk shit. And ours is just the kid is just such a little weak weasel that, it, that he can get away with it because no one's going to punch him because they would look like some kind of horrible bully if they beat the shit out of a little weasel because he's such a little fucking weasel. And that's you, you jackass, <laughs> you know, I mean, with your fake smoking of your cigars and your 15 ways to say hello and your 93 ways to say goodbye. So I'm just going to ask my subscribers, just think, what fucking video of N.D. Clark's made any, had any meaningful impact on your intellectual perception of the world? If he hasn't said anything that means anything, then please unsubscribe from the motherfucker, all right? I'm asking you to do that because he's a scumbag, he's an asshole, he's, he's demonstrated that he has no fucking character. Alright, so I'm not going to block you, but I'm just going to say fuck you if you can't do that. Alright, because the guy's a prick. Alright, point to, point to how I've used his tactics. Point to how I've done anything anywhere close to what these assholes have done. The only time I've ever put anybody else's videos in my video, I've played the whole motherfucking clip. I haven't put words in their mouth. I haven't distorted it. I haven't perverted it. I mean, this is just fucking bullshit. Um, so anyway, so that's a little bit of drama. Um, let's see if I can come up with any, uh, you know, just little quick insults. Uh, I mean, is it really a point? But I'm just saying, just think through what N.D. Clark's contribution has been. Um, and then to sit there and, you know, look at the way he perverted the argument. Look at the, look at the way he perverted this argument. Me and Tommy have some videos back and forth, and he has, to, he has to stick his stupid nose in it 
Um, and, and look at look at his his commentary. He's he's basically saying that I was saying that everybody has to hate every Christian they ever meet on the street or live next door to. I think I said exactly the motherfucking opposite. There's a big fucking difference between your wife being a motherfucking Christian, all right, and your wife being on motherfucking YouTube spouting Christianity, you know, encouraging other people to be goddamn bigots and assholes. There's a big, huge motherfucking difference. Um, and we don't have to befriend these proselytizers of bullshit. We don't have to give them consideration or respect or any of that shit. No, we can talk to them. We can talk down to them. We can humiliate them. We can ridicule them. We can do all of that shit. I'm not for the cheap shot artists. I'm not, I don't five-star videos that, you know, do nothing but sit there and paint pictures on people's face. But, you know, yeah, we can, we can argue with these fuckers and argue aggressively, and we should, and we're obligated as goddamn atheists to do that if we fucking believe in anything. But if you don't believe in shit, if you don't believe it matters, if you don't believe the conversation is even worth fucking having, what the fuck are you doing on YouTube, you dumb fuck? Just so you can say howdy to everybody? Is that it? Is that the game? I'm Andy Clark. I like to say howdy to people. I like people to think I have something to say. If that's all you're here for, then fuck you. Stupid asshole. All right, so enough said. <clears throat> um, till next time. I mean, whatever. I mean, you know, this drama has gotten so fucking silly. You people can't make a motherfucking argument. All right, you really can't. All you can do is sit there and exaggerate into preposterous levels anything I have said and then sit there and try to paint a picture of me that's just completely inaccurate. All right, because you're weasels. You're motherfucking weasels. Make a goddamn video, okay? Point out where I'm wrong, all right? And let me crucify you properly because I will fucking do it and I'll do it with logic and rationality. I won't do it with some cheap shot bullshit like calling you a big, fat, ugly asshole. Because that's what most of you fucking goddamn haters are. It's big, fat, ugly, smelly pieces of shit. All right? But I won't even go there. I won't even resort to that. I'll beat you up. I'll kill your fucking argument with logic. Because it, you can't. You can't compete with me. You really motherfucking can't. And you're demonstrating it by your desperation. Fuckers.